Hey guys, this is Zyram's Hero, and I'm continuing. This is part 3 of making the Imperial Avenger model 6.2x. So far, I've finished a cannon basically. This is as great as it's going to get. Um, with these little things, you can just fill in the blanks. It's all cosmetic, it's not really mandatory. In fact, I'm wasting video time right now to show you this. But it gives more of a solid look and in case the engine fails and it explodes you'll deal with less damage than what you have to and I consider that kind of important whoa what okay so we had that how the heck do we do the timer right? right well luckily I know what to do you put the inverter here. Okay, by the way, for those of you canning, these inverters mean nothing to the timer. As you can see, it splits and it's part of the cannon. This is the timer. The timer will wrap all the way in here, and this is where the output is going to be. I'm not counting the the ignition area. Because to me that's not part of the timer. It's the ignition lights fun okay so we're gonna start this off by doing that as you can see we're gonna get power constant stream of power that's cool alright now for the timer you guys gotta pay attention because it's important how you put the blocks and everything you do with it See, you just make a zigzag thing. It's going to be six blocks long. Then you get the torches and just set them in there. By the way, again, cobblestone equals inverters. So I'm not going to mess around and just place cobblestone very half heartedly now. They're all inverters. Okay, once you get that done, go ahead and... Whoa, I need more cobblestone. Well, guess I'm getting more cobblestone. <laughs> because I have unlimited this blocks, I'll just go ahead and do a little mining right here. Yeah, on YouTube I've done a little bit of research and I'm very surprised to see that because of my latest video, well I won't even say because of it, but ever since I posted my video I've seen a sudden spike in not only tutorials but references to my Imperial Avenger. So I think that's kind of fun. I'm quite proud of that. Um, also I've noticed that a lot of videos uh, recent videos or any videos like daily is posted of a basic Minecraft cannon. What the heck? Okay. So go ahead and place cobblestone wherever the lights are blackened and put more inverters. Now we're going to leave this one alone for a special reason. Go ahead and put redstone on the on the inverters that don't have cobblestone connected to it, and then go down here. Now you're going to see you're going to see these three holes, and they're going to have the inverters and then uh, or the redstone torches, and you're going to see these redstones are kind of just sticking out. The ones that are sticking out, go ahead and place redstone at its base. This will go for all sides of the timer. Alright, so this is basically the timer, or at least the beginning of it. When you go ahead and activate it, it really just follows each other. It's super compacted, and it's quite impressive. Now, this is only half, or almost half, of what my goal is. I have extra room. I'm going to be mimicking the same process over here. So this is 24 inverters, 
plus this one over here, that's 25. For those of you wondering how the inverter style is, I had posted pictures, but I did not post pictures of my newest discovery. I figured out that you can also stuff one extra inverter going down here and have a zigzag. I put redstone torches to show how it would work. This is where you start. It's very intense, as you can see. Sure, I need the cobblestone too. Alright. Look at that, it looks very canyony already. So, how do we do the second half? Well, we're still being specific here. We're going to leave from this gap. It's going to be two blocks wide. And we're going to mimic the exact same format as we did here. We're not going to make it go like this and make it cute and uh, symmetric. We're going to go ahead and just try to hold anything. There we go. Again, only six blocks long. We only need 24 more, and then two more after that for our 51 inverters. By the way, 51, if you had been counting, that is 24 plus another 24, 48, plus that other one, 49, and I have two more that end the entire process. Okay, so we can basically assume that the redstone torch is going to go, or the redstone torch is going to power that line. So go ahead and place that there. Completely forgot if I put redstone there. And okay. So go ahead, go crazy. The second half is much more simpler to uh, to make, just because you have the other half to go by, and it's a really great guide. I'll show you right now. Okay, we can delete that. Okay. For this, you know where the cobblestone is going to have to go. And look at that. It also makes a little zigzag form over here. Alright. Now, for we had the redstone inverters facing this way, but when it turns around over here, we're going to face it the opposite direction. This is quite important. All right. So let's go ahead and test this again. Uh, by the way, if you want to test, do not just delete this because apparently the the inverter will hold the memory. Go ahead and put redstone on top of that, and then just flick this one off. Beautiful, huh? That's how it's going to work. Alright, let's see what we're doing now. I'm gonna get another inverter over here. This is the 50, 50th. Actually, we have the 48, 49, and 50. And then the 51st is right over here. Go ahead and put a redstone torch on top of that. We're guiding the power. And voila! This is the entire timer. Congratulations if you made it this far. Alright, I'm going to end the video right now. And I'm going to go on to part whatever part I'm on. Alright, later.